Hello, this is Chick. It seems we are live. All right. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, everything is running. So let's continue. I literally have no recollection of where I left off <laughs> in the prior set. Okay, so let's look at what our uh, meet Pritchard in my office. Meet with Seraph, okay. So I say let's go meet with Pritchard first. We need everyone on high alert. It's not only Pritchard. the pro-ox who might want to get a taggart, but the ones against them too. You're saying that pro-human activists might see this visit as treachery? I'm just saying anything is possible. So keep your eyes out for suspicious characters. Right. No one relaxes until Tiger and his entourage are out of the building. Okay. Everyone's kind of on high alert. Okay, well that's... Okay. Ah, he's in my office. I was wondering, like, why is it taking me in the different direction? Okay, anyway, hi, Pritchard. <laughs> what do you want? As much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. That signal you shut down in DRB territory, it's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. You've told Seraph? See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen, and this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created it specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, and I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access and was streaming a lot of data through it shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you. Okay. And then, yeah. Oh wait, it looks, there was... Confront Seraph about the security leak. According to Pritchard, both attacks on his company took advantage of a backdoor into the network that Seraph set up right before he hired me. Maybe I should ask him what he was up to. Okay. And then the other, the primary objective, Seraph needs to hear about my encounter with the Black Ops mercenary, Barrett. He's waiting in the penthouse for me. Okay. Uh, yeah, right. Here you go. Hi. Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am... Devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. Okay, why are you talking about this? I appreciate your concern, Mr. Taggart. 
but it was nothing I couldn't handle. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. What in the world was the point of that? Not just yet, you got balls coming here, what makes you think you'd be welcome? Yeah, here you go. I'm curious about something, Mr. Taggart. What is it you hope to accomplish by coming here tonight? I would think that would be obvious. Your company has been viciously targeted. The violence and bloodshed that's occurred, it, it must be stopped. But I'm afraid it won't be until men of wisdom and understanding come to an agreement. About what? About the future, Mr. Jensen. This enhancement technology threatens to change the course of human evolution, to redefine what it even means to be human. You think governments can afford to let that go unregulated? You can't stop progress, Mr. Taggart. Perhaps not. But neither can we afford to sit by and watch it happen on its own. Not when we have the ability, the collective will, and foresight to influence it. I see. Thank you for illuminating me. Anytime. Okay, whoa, the audio change. Also, it's, he moves weirdly. He moves kind of like, he kind of reminds me of a bird. The way he, the way he moves. Hi. Athena, you've been at this company a long time. I hope that's not a comment about my age, Adam. No, but I know nothing gets by you. If Seraph had done something that could compromise us. Mr. Seraph has only the best interests of this company in mind, Adam. I'm not questioning that. Aren't you? I've been here since the beginning. I've seen how he built this up from nothing. He cares for his people. He truly believes what we're doing is important. And he would never do anything to jeopardize it. I shouldn't have brought it up. No, you shouldn't have. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. She got the defensive real quick. Ooh. Also, <laughs> not the type of conversation we want to have with these guys out here. But either way, Seraph, is there anything? I always feel like I have to check just in case I missed. No, that's nothing. Okay, Seraph. Boss, we need to talk. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? <laughs> I what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh. I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now. But he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. Okay. Has a tendency to shift blame onto others will back down rapidly if, res if resistance fell. Of course you're right. I want to, believe me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. But you can't expect me to tell you every detail of this company's operations every single day. We're at war here. And it's your job to protect us from enemies who try to take us down. You should have found that loophole without my having to tell you about it. You know, 
Frank wanted me to hire experts, an outside security firm to protect us, but you convinced me you could do it. Are you saying you were wrong? <laughs> Talk about shifting blame. Okay, uh, well, back down when we were since Fent. I think I proved myself today, and the only reason I'm worried about that loophole right now is because of Dad, you streamed through it. Okay, so I think we need to defend to... I think I proved myself today. And the only reason I'm worried about that loophole right now is because the data you streamed through it could have been accessed, backtraced, and stolen by the men who attacked us. Our enemies might still find a way to hurt us with it. What? Well, I never considered that. I'm sorry, son. I guess you have proved yourself today. Your concerns about the data being compromised won't really be an issue as long as we stay strong and work together as a team. That's all I've ever tried to do here. Find the best, most qualified people I can and bring them all together so they can complement each other. Now, Megan understood that. That's why she suggested I hire you in the first place. To help this little family of ours survive. Okay. Uh, it's not free to use authority. Security breach. With all due respect, I'm trying to do my job. Just... Okay. I don't think I can back off. Uh, hmm. Adam. Are we done here? I, I really don't know about this one. Because if I try to push, he's going to get defensive. Megan? Boss, what does Megan have to do with any of this? I thought we were discussing a security breach. She doesn't. I mean, I, I mean not, not directly. The data you're so nervous about is little more than a bunch of routine fact-finding reports, the kind of stuff I deal with every day. Megan pointed me in a direction and I followed up on it. That's all. And now that I've shared this much with you, I have to ask how your knowing the fine details will keep the rest of us any more secure. Can't you trust me to take care of things from here? I don't really care what kind of secrets you and Megan are keeping. I just want to make sure they don't endanger us again. Boss, six months ago, mercenaries knew stuff about this company that I didn't and used it to get past my security measures. I don't really care what kind of secrets you and Megan were keeping back then. I just want to make sure they don't endanger us again. Adam, I didn't mean to imply... You're right. Okay, you're right. I, I really shouldn't keep this information from you. I just hope you'll understand why I did. All right. Look, the truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look, I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. Okay. All right. <laughs> yes, boss, is the achievement. Okay, so... Okay, first things, let's uh, look at that, that data on our computer and then we can continue with the primary objective okay it's interesting it's jumped straight into the secondary objective anyway i 
Am I? No, no, no. Sorry. My office is right here. Why am I... Why am I walking so far away? I know I don't need to, but I just, I just feel I have to. All right. Greg Thorne, words aren't enough. Mr. Jensen, I meant what I said at the plant today. You saved my life in more ways than one. Oh, did I already read this? Yeah, I already read this. Please let me repay you. Yeah, okay, I read this. Um, to frantic, frantic pony. Okay, frantic pony, from Brett, and for fraternity tests. I had a friend at the Genevieve Genevieve Labs run the test off the records, like you asked. Does your subject know that neither of his parents are his birth parents? That surprised me. That mother was sterile, according to those old medical records I dug up. But his dad carries no common phenotypes either. See for yourself. Mother, Caucasian, Caucasian, and Jensen. Genetic system tested. Probability of parentage zero. Okay. Uh. Arthur Jensen. Arthur Jensen? Brent. It wasn't easy, but I finally backtracked some of Margie and Arthur's Jensen's past through their- Oh, that's the father. Father's name's Arthur, okay. Through their medical files. Arthur Jensen had enough connections through his old Desert Storm buddies turned security consultants to have certain records pulled, which is why the family is a ghost, but he couldn't hide Margie's records. For a period of eight years, Arthur relied on the insurance policy of his then-employer, White Helix Labs to pay for his wife's medication. She was on antidepressants since 14 and needed regular prescription. When White Helix Labs burned down, all its files and employment records were lost and the Jensen's stayed invisible mostly. Here's the thing. One minute Adam doesn't exist and the next the Jensen's have themselves a bouncing and healthy five-year-old. Five-year-old. That's when they pulled their vanishing act. So on a hunch, I sniffed around some more and sure enough, the Jensen's Jensen's had tried adopting kids from several Michigan agencies, but Margie was deemed unfit as a parent. Next thing you know, they have Adam. There is no real trail saying how he was placed in their hands. Hope that helps, Lucius. Mr. Seraph, I found Adam Jensen's psych evaluation following that SWAT incident with the augmented teen. I managed to sneak a look at the folder, but I couldn't copy it. At least not yet. I'll be honest with you, the psyche valve doesn't paint a pretty picture. It mentions the problems with authority figures, a disregard for the chain of command, anger management issues, and potential PTSD. Here's the thing. When you hired me, you said you wanted me to read between the lines. So here it is. The evaluation reads like fiction. I'm thinking a pissed off superior wanted Jensen off the force and had the evaluation word worded to read like just cause. But most of the rank and file I spoke to respected and liked Jensen. They thought he was a real straight shooter, even though the SWAT incident soured his reputation a little. Still, even my source liked him enough to want to keep his psyche valve buried. Okay, and this is... Oh yeah, okay, this is old. Okay, so he was, <laughs> well, questionably adopted? Athena tells me you spoke to Sarath. Did he happen to tell you why he made us look like idiots? I'm handling it. You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Sarath spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride talking. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I didn't. <laughs> oh my god, you too. Calm down, both of you. All right, let's go back up to Seraph. So, what is Adam Jensen's origins? Is he a created baby? <laughs> Test tube baby? I mean, even then, I'm not even sure test tube will apply not in the usual terms. Okay, this is 
All I have to do, right? Yeah, okay. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development, self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. Okay. Huh. Oh. Upgrade. Alright, God, I did get a practice point. And look at that. Mmm, right. Where should I place this? Radar system. I can increase my radar system. See, I would like to be able to, like... Eventually be able to run without making noise. Is it not on this one? Where's the legs? Ah, oh, here we go. Running silently. There we go. I like the thought of that. Doesn't sound silent to me, but whatever. Unless that's something... <laughs> I'm looking in the corner and there's like... A little silent thing. The the mute button, but I'm wondering if I have to press something very specific in order to do that. Okay, so there's no other... Hmm. Yeah, there is no... Oh, wait. Meet? Oh. Yeah, there's only the main mission. There's no other quests to finish. <gasps> I didn't know. Alright. Well, I guess the only thing to do is head to China now, since... Or maybe I could sell stuff. Hold on. Let's just try to... I have so many things in my inventory. Let's try to sell it. Free up my inventory space and then and then head off to 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 Malik. Now if only I can remember exactly where the, the where the convenience store was. Not there. Convenience store, convenience store. Where is this convenience store? Is it on this side or is it? Oh, here we go. Nope. I was. It's it's here. No worries. Oh, I have to talk to you. What's Fine. your pleasure, friend? Okay. What can I sell? 
None of that, obviously. Machine pistol, stun gun, here you go, ammunition. Shotgun, I don't have the shotgun. Don't know what that is. What is this again? It's for a weapon. A military specification double vial binary magazine containing a fluid matrix. Liquid nitrogen. Okay, I'm curious about that. Should, probably shouldn't keep it, but... Stun gun, tranquilizer, keep all that. Okay, I'm gonna sell the frag grenade. I'll keep the EMP grenade. Though I imagine that's only gonna be useful for, uh... What do you have for... for... to buy? Tranquilizer darts... Damage upgrade. Oh, ooh. Burst around system. The shot clock improves the standard weapon barrel and receiver assembly of a handgun, rifle, or firearm. Okay. Shotgun and the mine template. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna buy this. Always a pleasure. Actually, I should go see the other guy, shouldn't I? If I can remember, I would have to go through easy access way. So the back gates, yeah, here we go. Back gates here. Did I leave anything in here? I left the shotgun. I'm sorry, trying to remember exactly how did I get up here. Up, down, all around. I... Oh wait, hold on. Right. I was not able to access this before. I should be able to hack it now, right? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, we have two... Mm. <clears throat> so we have two things to hack. Well, I feel, I feel like right away I would want to nuke this. The safer bet would definitely be to go on the outside. Because this is a transfer 3, which is going to be 80% detection. I definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I definitely would not have time to go, f I don't feel like I would have time to go for this uh, node here. Okay, what's in here? Oh, you're not gonna open- Oh, I have to open you by yourself? New virus, thank you. Oh, more shotgun cartridges. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. It's a magazine ebook. Ah, 
Oh boy. Okay, first off, we need, I need to use this. What can it combine with? So it can combine with the pistol and the revolver. Uh, trying to think. Well, actually, what ammo do I have the most? I have a lot of machine pistol ammo. Oh, I could... Hmm, I could sell some of this, actually. I have a lot. Shotgun cartridge. I have tons of stun gun. Oh, I have two. Okay, so I have two of the pistol ammo. How much... I'm trying to see about the revolver if I don't... Okay, so I think my best bet will probably be just to upgrade this. Just because I've... Potentially, I don't know, but potentially, I'm going to cross, come across more ammo for, for this. So combine it with the pistol. Okay. So I'm wondering, should I just drop the machine pistol and pick up the shotgun? Because we can easily find it later on, right? And I have not done anything in terms of uh, upgrades. Okay. I don't imagine... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So... I need to try to find... I know it's here, but I just can't remember <laughs> what floor I'm supposed to go to for this, uh... for the cellar. Okay, I'm totally going the wrong way. I feel like I'm going way too far. This is way too far. Didn't think so. Worth a shot. Okay. I guess maybe... Hmm. I remember it being a lot closer, but I guess it's farther up. What in the hell? <laughs> okay, clearly I've got the wrong place then. Getting lost when I don't need to. Alright, so where is that building then? Oh, so I just realized. Let's switch over. Stun gun. Trank. Uh, pistol and revolver. Whoops, knocking things down. Okay, so I clearly don't know. Just trying to remember which of the buildings have the has the. This building here has the windows, so... I 
I know, but I can't access these windows. Ooh, that is a low resolution image right there. <laughs> The problem is, like, I kind of... I, I remember the details, but not so much. I just know one of these ladders I can climb up. It's a series of windows that I can enter. And that should be the one I can go into. This one. Ooh. Here. So, hello. This is what I got. I'm a friend of Greg Thorpe. Really? Okay, I give you the egghead discount. Weapon upgrade silencer. So, and I said I want to sell some, I mean, I, I'm sure I'll pick up more ammunition. Here, that should be enough. So, I have not accessed this yet. <laughs> okay, what can the silencer be combined with? Oopsies, wrong thing. Okay, well since I'm going basically almost all in with the pistol. <laughs> Now we can hack this, since before I could not. Oh my god, there's so many... Okay, I just want to see if I can go for more, but I couldn't concentrate on everything <laughs> at the same time. No secrets behind there? Okay, I was, can I put it back in? I can shove it back in. There we go. It's like nothing happened. Seeing if anything was underneath. Anything new change? Nope. Same thing. Okay, what's this? Uniting the world. The Pickett story. Early in 1985, Dazzle Me magazine, TK Records, and Rogue Publishing came together under one banner to become a new multimedia company for a new age. The Pick Pickett Communications Group, invigorated with new purpose and forward-looking viewpoint, Pickus exploded onto the global media scene and began a meteoric rise over the next decade, absorbing other smaller companies in film and television production, video games, advertising, marketing, and public relations in the emergent fields of internet service provision. By 2010, the Pickus Group shifted its corporate headquarters to Canada, a nation with stability. Pickus invented, invested heavily in the city of Montreal, a growing hub for virtual entertainment, in order to construct a large corporate campus in the center of the metropolis. From its new home, Pickus has continued to spread, drawing in new, technique, te new technologies and talents to bolster its leadership of global media. Cyborg 
Okay, forgot to save for a while. Alright, let's take a look at this computer. Sorry. I don't know why. I'm just gonna close all the doors. I just I'm just getting like bad flashbacks to the last time. This happened. <laughs> Even though there's no reason for it to happen again, so I say. Okay. So let's. Whoa. This is a bigger. It's kind of all over the place. Okay, so my. This is the thing I'm trying to reach. So the main problem I see with this one right now is that it's going to make. It's definitely going to make things a lot harder. I don't give a shit whether you want to walk around looking like a fucking cyborg or whether you want to walk around butt naked as Adam in all his glory. It doesn't matter. What matters is what they want. Okay, so this will not be a point of access because it... So you can waste your time bickering I mean, it can actually, now that I'm looking at it. Ooh. So that's a thought. I might need to take this one in order to just to fortify it. This is as much as I can scroll out. And there's all the ones over there. There's no way to access this one specifically. Zero detection. Okay. Hmm. This is only a three. I got, unfortunately I got stuck on that one thing. I mean, Cause I don't know why I was like, I'm gonna fortify that. I'm like, no, that's not the one I need to fortify. And then I realized that I clicked the wrong one. And then it's a weird awkward thing where I have to like back out, but I can't. I still need to do something with it. <laughs> What? Bull. Yeah, this is not gonna happen. What is this, by the way? Let's just take a look at this one then. Let that one stew for a bit. Three attempts. There's more of this to come, followers, so stay logged in. And if you're just joining us, listen, don't stream me and start bitching about Og versus Nash and all that crap. I don't give a shit, but you want to walk around 
God damn it, really? Yeah, no, just... Access denied. <laughs> it's way too late to use that stop. Ugh. Wasted two stops. So now this is three. Just gonna capture this one because now this one's two. <laughs> if I need to fortify it. So I could nuke this one. That is an option. Ah. Okay, this one. At least I got one of them. Uh, okay. Uh, some simple echelon questions, Miss Val. Once again, your questions and insinuations are both ill-founded and inflammatory. You have been officially advised about this in the past. Sadly, I must inform you that an official harassment complaint has been filed. If you do not want, if you do not alter your current behavior, I'm afraid we will be forced to settle this matter in the courts. T Timothy Stevens, National Security, NSA, Public Affairs. The truth about Philip Riley Mead, please read and pass on. For God's sakes, Lord, please just stop sending me those stupid emails of yours before I wind up on the watch list or something. You know, I don't care about your crazy theories anyway. Zui Zubin and I are working things out, and the last goddamn thing we need is for the police to show up at his office again because of you. If you can't write to me about normal things, don't write at all, Penny. You wrote, you can't hide your head in the sand forever, you know. Remember, all that is needed for evil to turn to triumph in this world is for good people to look away and do nothing, Laura. Laura, you've got to get off that computer and get yourself a real hobby. You're asking me to trust a few paranoid kooks living in their parents' basement over the investigative reporting done by every member of the press. Who do you honestly think is more trustworthy? Greer is innocent. He was framed by the Meade campaign to ruin his reputation. They want him out of the running so Meade can take the next election. This website presents the true facts behind all the lies. Attention, the President CEO, Dear Sir, Confidential Business Protocol. Having consulted with my colleagues and based on the information gathered from the Nigerian Chambers of... Oh, this is... Okay, never mind. This is a... Uh, <laughs> this is a spam mail. Unfortunately, I can't hack that one. <laughs> A gun. Luke Software. Awesome. Okay. Can I close the door, please? Thank you. Any other...
What else is here that I can... I'm trying to remember what apartments I have or have not gained access to and stolen their stuff. Okay, this is nothing. <laughs> Just wanted to see. Okay, I think with that... I can probably... Yeah, I think it'll be safe to head off now. We'll see. Actually, you know what? I'll save when I'm closer to the... My... Okay. Crouch. There we go. Let's say, can I go to the... Do I even have enough credits? With the, um... I'm going the right way. Would the um, the clinic have more praxis? <clears throat> excuse me, more praxis uh, things. I think this is it, right? Yeah. Awesome. Clinic's right by. Just wanted to see if there's anything else we can have a look at. And then we'll be heading off to Shanghai. Will you be purchasing anything today? Let's see. Okay, yeah. So that all the Well, maybe next time. See you then. All right, goodbye, goodbye. All right, so let's head off then. And continue with the main investigation. Yeah, I am. Okay. Save. And then head off to the helipad. You're still here? Yes, of course. Bye. I'm glad we had a chance to talk, Mr. Jensen. Meeting you has been very informative. Okay, I'm surprised he's still here. I just realized something. Have I already hacked into every single office in this building? I have not. <laughs> this is all for security, everybody. I saw there's a third one there, but it's too late. Access granted. Oh, hi. What is everyone still doing here? What okay. am I still doing here? If, <laughs> no questions about why I just came into their office? I mean, I guess because he's had security, they, they will just assume otherwise. <laughs> Uh, Serif Industries, Rising to Tomorrow. Did I already read this one? 
Here at Severin Industries, we specialize in design and manufacture of advanced neural augmentation and prosthetics for human implantation. And we strive to distinguish ourselves by working with clients to create progressive forward thinking custom augmentations that answer specific challenges and needs. We are proud to maintain our creative independence in a rapidly shrinking and highly competitive marketplace. To ensure our uniqueness, we maintain an in-house staff of doctors and nurses, in addition to the usual array of augmentation scientists and researchers, training them to work with clients to determine individual needs. Serif Industries offers its clients free comprehensive pre-operational screening so as to better understand their personal challenges. We employ over 1,500 people in the Detroit area in our factory and R&D facilities. More than any other corp corporation in augmentation industry, we work hard to promote and maintain our reputation as innovators and as, ho as a home for independence, excellence, and quality. Okay, well. Lau Rogers. What the fuck does Pickus have against us? Ever since Tar Taggart gave that dance speech in front of the UN, Kassan's taken every opportunity she has to slant this augmentation debate in his favor. We were the ones who were fucking attacked. We lost people. He didn't. That has got to earn us some sympathy. Get on the phone and work this, Lyle. Do what I fucking pay you to do. Hey boss, Mr. Seraph just stuck his head in. Looks like he's on the warpath. You might want to get back here ASAP. And we are still on for the movie Saturday? Okay. I didn't have to hack this one. Okay, were these open before or they just open now? Credits! You saw nothing. Okay. Wait, did I miss this? Because that means... Yeah, because I read this one. So I must have missed that credit. Okay, let's hack this. Okay, well this is a relatively simple one. Oh, I can't go that way, that's why. Access granted. Okay. Stealing people's money, the tyranny of biology. Transcript to Seven R by Hugh Darrows. The next study I'll share, I'd like to share is the next study I'd like to share <laughs> is one in which we analyze the security and privacy properties of an implant implantable cardioverter defibrillator. Introduced to the US market in 2003, this model of ICD includes pacemaker technology and is designed to communicate wirelessly with a nearby external programmer in the 175 kilohertz frequency range. After partially reverse Engineering the ICD's communication protocol with a oscilloscope and the software radio, we have implemented several software radio-based attacks that could compromise patients' safety and privacy. At this point, cries of outrage from participants interrupt Mr. Darrows. He looks up, surprised, loudly graveling sounds. Please, ladies and gentlemen, please. After several minutes, the crowd quiets enough for Mr. Dare to speak. Listen, I'm not here to talk about the philosophical nature of what we do in augmentation science. That's not to say I don't understand the ramifications of my work. Just that I feel there are better thinkers that than I more suited to the task. My prowess, my genius, if you'll forgive me for calling it that, is in the creation of these engines of human improvement. I'll leave it to the future generation to decide if I am remembered well for what I've created. But I will say this, 
And no other time in our history as the dominant species on this planet have we as human beings had as much power over our own bodies as we do now. We are on the threshold of an age where the tyranny of biology can be defeated. Someone born blind, someone whose legs are claimed by some tragedy, someone who once could hear but now cannot, we can offer hope to them. Nature no longer has the upper hand. Hello, Regulator and Paul Springer. Okay. More credits? Okay. Excessive vacation requests? Mika, I just got off the phone with Erin. From every season, she told me that all these vacation days you've been using up lately haven't been vacations at all. Why didn't you come to me, sweetheart? If I'd known how difficult it was for you to set foot near the labs, I could have done something about it. Look, I'll speak to David. He'll understand, and maybe we can get workers' comp to reimburse us for all the weeks you've been missing. In the meantime, stay home. Try to relax and keep up those sessions with Erin. She sounds like a really helpful person. Okay, this is just about security measure measures. Oh wait, bar. Take it. Take the bar. All right, and let's travel through. More credits to take. Oh my god, everyone's just leaving their money everywhere. Guys. Don't be pissed at me. D. I all I meant was all I meant when I said it was that maybe just maybe they made a mistake. It happens all the time on those crime scene shows and we never actually saw the DNA results. Don't you want to believe that Megan could still be alive? She was your friend too after all. Hey, Lal just told me, we work our butts off and they start taking away our benefits. Not cool. I'm starting to get a sticky feeling about this place. You still up for happy hour downtown? If we can get away at a decent hour. hour. Hey, gal, you, you hear they're thinking of cutting vacation days? What the hell? Okay. Mm hmm, I don't know what that conversation was about, though. <laughs> Just taking the whiskey. Uh, neural hub designed for the next generation. Excerpt from Paper and New Nature, May 2015. Neural hub technology is viewed by some as a millstone about the neck of cybernetics research, but such commentary indicates a failure to think outside the box. In fact, the neural hub has always been the capacity to grow beyond its function as a gateway for cyberware integration. These implants developed in the beginning as components in ever-shrinking cell phone, TV, and MP3 player parts, wow, MP3 players, that hasn't existed for a while, <laughs> parts, compromised numerous physical processors integrated on one physical chip. But the key is in the threading. The hub is controlled by software, which enables more efficient processing on the hardware. Each input from the nervous system generates its own or multiple threads based on operations like motion or recollection. What I propose is a combination of multi-core processors tied closer to the human's brain's own superlative multitasking capacity, effectively breaking down the barrier between the commonplace hub designs of current iterations and the subject's own mind. In effect, we allow the hub to work with the human brain. In analogy, instead of relay race where one participant is slower than the other, it becomes a ride on the tandem. Anything here? A lot of coffee is what's there. Did I search this trash? I can't search trash. Okay. <laughs> Probably a good thing. <laughs> See you later. Okay, that's Frank. Okay. Oh wait. Haha. -ha. Don't mind me, just gonna hack into your office. I'm practicing right now. Oh wow. This is I think my better bet would be to go for this. 
Disconnect. Woo, that did not like what I was doing. <laughs> I guess I should start fortifying right away. Back to that some other time. I'm gonna go upstairs. Yeah, we're gonna continue this hacking thing. Just get as much uh, points now, because I just do not know what this game is gonna throw at me after. Okay, so unfortunately, I used up all my stops. Oh, I do not like this. Okay. Oh, I was trying to like capture it before. Access denied. Ah. Uh, I don't want to use any more of my nukes and stuff. Okay. To that one. That one's entered. Okay, we have two. This is going to be a pain. No, I missed it. Okay, this one has wasn't not that bad. Access granted. More reading? Sleepwalking world, wake up, your government can follow you anywhere. Under the guise of helpful programs such as the Amber Alert database for missing children and the World Smallpox vac Vaccine Initiative, those who would seek to control our lives are eroding our liberties. Okay, this is where we're, we're heading to conspiracy theory territory. They mask their true intentions. They plan to build a global database of all citizen DNA fingerprints. Your autonomy and self-determination will be curtailed for all time. DNA registration is the death of freedom. Only those people who appear on the global register will be allowed to vote, to travel, to have children, to earn a living, to speak out. Non-registrants will be a non-people. This is a silent, quiet slavery, and we are allowing it to happen. Our elected officials are mark marking us like animals in pens, shackling us with the very blood in our vein. Our, a population that can be tracked cannot be free. Okay. Delivery receives. Hey man, I don't work there anymore. Pritchard fired me for messing with the IntelliCamp footage. Oh, Brian. I just realized this now. Remember? So you'll have to get into her office and sneak around yourself. If you really want to be sure, all I can do is give you her, you her office access code if she hasn't changed it. What do you mean she saw you? Christ, Brian. Her knowing is not an option. It could mean my job. You gotta find out if she's on to me. Package received, thanks, see, da, da da Don't say that, man. I promised the client no pause, and I gotta make 
good. Which means you gotta make good, or do you conveniently forget about that little piece of added security I grabbed before Dick Wet fired me? You don't deliver the rest of the of the valves as we discussed, and Mr. Seraph's gonna be watching some pretty curbing digital images tonight. Good man, I'll find a way in. Okay. So this was uh let me take a look at the Okay. So really that just leaves the one office here that I have not broken into. Okay. Alright, don't have any more stock, Access so I can't denied. do it. Ah, okay, fine, whatever. Um... Right, let's head off to the helipad though, then. I'm sure I can find the whiskey. <laughs> I'm hoping. I know I got room. I got room still. So let's head off to Shanghai. I fussed around enough. Hey Jensen, the boss said you were on your way. You're gonna love Hengsha. You've been there? Used to live there. I spent three, maybe four years working in the upper city, and most of my nights having fun in the lower one. You ready to go? I thought I was. How long is this gonna take, Malik? You mean the flight or the fun afterward? Don't worry, we'll be there before you know it. Climb in. Okay. Uh, there was apparently a warning, which I didn't read before I clicked. <laughs> Whoops. But I mean, most of the stuff is just going around breaking into people's offices. They don't have any side missions to do. Unfortunately, one of them was on time limit. Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Son of a bitch. I'm supposed to find answers in that. Hey, twice the scum and half the space. Hang on, we're going in. The address you got off that mark, Hengsha Court Gardens. It's a bit of a walk from here in the Yuzhou district, but I figured it might be best not to drop you too close. In case Barrett only gave up the address, knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. Okay. I don't imagine there's any side missions yet. No practice points. Okay, investigate the penthouse before he died. Barrett gave up an address. Uh, I know, I, I know, I won't know if it's a trap or someone worth talking to until I get inside and find out who lives there. Okay, so she's instantly gone. I kind of want to explore around a bit more. Announces new cash stimulus for Pangu. Taeyong Medical announced today that it will be making another large investment in the construction of Hangsha Island's two-tiered city on the Yangtze River. Built on split levels, the lower city has already become a bustling hub of exotic nightlife and cultural activity, and the upper city will soon be center for universities and high-tech research. 
the single biggest corporate underwriter in China, Taiyong Medical, is injecting an in undisclosed sum into Hangsha's economy to ensure new facilities are built to world-class standards. Taiyong's president and CEO Zhao Yun Ru spoke about the stimulus package. We want to make Hung Sha the undisputed world leader in cybernetics, and we will spare no expense to ensure that we stay on track until our goals are realized. Dare Industries has joined the ranks of employers offering free augmentation as incentive to join their workforce. Huh. Have you seen Ning lately? Not since last week. Hello, sir. We are on break. But if you would like to talk to one of the girls on duty, just head downstairs. Not since last week. Okay. <laughs> and then the conversation just continues. Okay. So court Garden is over that way. Alice Pod Gardens. Lim Clinic is downstairs. Station is downstairs. The Hive is downstairs. And this is the hotel. Apparently. Oh dear God. Tomorrow is green. A blueprint for saving the earth. The plain truth of it is this. We as a species have brutally abused our mother world and now only we as a species in concert can heal it once more. We do, how do we accomplish this? There are, are many ways and they start with each and every one of us from taking individual responsibility to reduce one's carbon footprint through to larger and more proactive projects requiring dynamic cross-national cross -national cooperation, such as close orbit mirrors, close orbital microsatellite mirrors capable of deflecting sunlight, green tech energy solutions, solar powered cells, wind farms, wave power, iron seeding, stimulating ocean plankton to consume carbon, cloud ships, mobile wind powered vessel capable of turning seawater into white counter solar clouds via weather modifications. Cyber what synthetic trees? Nature interesting. Nature imitative carbon capture technologies. Deep ocean water displacement. Piping system to draw water from the ocean depths up to stimulate the Earth's capacity for self healing. Self self healing. Okay, right now I'm just exploring before going where I need to go. Just having a look around. Okay, we're getting... What? Well, what? I usually hear like I don't speak, but that's like I don't is understand. I don't understand. Okay, I don't understand English, which usually you would be what ting pudong. Anyway. That has to be the lamest come on I've ever heard. Now get a life. Wait, I'm sorry. Are you two talking with each other? Because she says she does not understand English. <laughs> you <laughs> are speaking to me in English. I said go away. Okay, calm down. How can I help you? What are you? Bell Tower Special Operative. Bell Tower. Bell Tower again, huh? Shell Station. Come on. 
I mean, imagine there's no... Oh, there is a map. Oh, God. I'm like, oh, my God. How many floors? Oh, my goodness. There's so many. <laughs> okay. Um, mm. If I'm going to be exploring, it's going to be a lot of exploring. Up level... Up level's where we were. Metro station, limp clinic, the medical center. Okay, you know what? Let's just. Wanna, kinda, I'm curious. I want to see. Anything down below? Besides. shit. You can grab alcohol. And hopefully sell it. I'm carrying all this stuff I really don't need to carry. Oh, he's sleeping. Why am I trying to talk to him? Okay, that's it. There's nothing else here. I really do not want to walk into this water, frankly. Oh, there is a manhole on that side. Can I? I can jump over, thank god. What's down here? Is that it? Hmm, I guess it is. Yeah, it's very it's very kinda closed off. Okay, let's go let's go up this ladder. What? Oh. This is someone's living space. Or at least was someone's living space. Oh, this is- oh, this takes me nowhere. What the? This is gonna be a thing later on? Oh, no, 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 get down, get down! Okay, so there is someone else here. Okay, I don't know how to get to that upper part. It's kind of... just kind of closed off. Either way... Alright, so that really took me nowhere. Okay, well... Let's make my way back... how do I make my way back? Here we go. Alright, let's head to the... Head to our objective then. Oh! I was about to say, I was, can I sell stuff, but... Okay. <laughs> well, frankly, this person, whoever should be, is managing the store, is not here. So we're just going to go. This place is closed. Uh, uh, Can't you see we're having a private conversation here? Key. Okay. 
我从来没见过那样的手。他们看起来哦，天机。You okay? Anything, sir? Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, uh, I don't know. You're the one who keeps looking up. I don't know if you're sick or what. Oh, whoa.你看不起我啊，老外，你根本不了解这个城市。那些商人能把你搞到几乎任何东西，尤其是那些不寻常的家伙。如果你不怕死，可以去问问他们手上都有什么。这一切都很危险，尤其是如果你喝醉了，奥
Access granted. Okay, I'm getting nuke viruses like crazy. Okay, this is just another access. <laughs> Let's not risk it. Let's <laughs> just go in. Where's this take me? I need to go up anyway. If I need to go up... Whoa! Hi, elevator! I was not expecting the elevator. That actually legitimately scared me for a bit. I imagine they're not gonna make these, uh... Is there anything down here? Come on. Really? I'm like getting lost. Okay, I was wondering, like, how come I'm having such a difficult time trying to get up this? Probably because I was so afraid of the elevator crushing me. Again, not- don't imagine it would be designed that way. Okay, I have so many nuke- Fine. Okay. Anything underneath this? Okay. Okay. Nothing. Can't. There is a lot more people in this apartment. Okay. This is taking me where I need to go. Make sure, because I, I mean, I see those arrows over there, but on the radar at the very least. Okay, so only one of them. Okay, here's what I should do. I should save. There we go. I 
That guy's over there. I'm worried about this guy mostly. Quite a bounty from that. Yeah, I'm gonna stay crouch here. Windmill. Okay, I have two stops and five nukes. I'm going to... Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to use a nuke on this. Mainly so I can fortify it. That's my main worry right now. Because I'm going to get hit from this side. Did I not capture this one? What? I can't capture it? Seriously? Oh, I can't. Okay, fortunately a minor error ended up wasting a few precious amounts of time. <sighs> Cause yeah, if I remember that I couldn't, if I looked a bit more carefully and saw that I couldn't access, trying to get those nodes, couldn't access that particular area. Did I not? Oh, I already, I already got it. That's why I'm so confused. Okay, I wasn't gonna waste my time with the other one. Um, Phoenix instant messaging auto save. This conversation was automatically saved in your history conversation history. Hive master, you there? Pick up, pick up, pick up, please. Mr. Van Buren, this is a surprise. No time for chit chat. Off job offer still good. Depends. What are you doing, Airy? What I'm paid to do. Only this time clients aren't happy. She never is. So you'll arrange with HK. Might take some time. Do it. What the fuck you do, Windmill? Never seen Dragon Lady this PO'd. Uh, B BT's safety off. Suggest you get out now. Oh, okay. So basically the bell tower. Bell tower guys are on their way. The official Hive newsletter. This Saturday, the Hive will be celebrating 50 years, 15 years in Lower Hung Sha. Come join us to celebrate with an all-night bash. Free champagne from 7 to 10. 
Tuesdays, Ladies Aug Night, Augmented Ladies Drink for Free every Tuesday from 7 to 11. Uh, check out international superstar DJ Trung Hao, spinning the latest in Vietnamese trance. Fridays, Radical Chic Night, theme that started it all. Come dress as your favorite freedom fighter or political dissident, and you could win a free trip to the mainland's most luxurious spa, Yangtze Breeze. Hope to see you at the hive. Get word to Pritchard, Malik. The hacker who's been attacking us goes by the handle Windmill. Real name's Ari Van Bruggen. Bell Tower's been brought in to arrest him. Arrest? Or get rid of? Either way, he found out someone was gunning for him and took off. We need to find him. There's a nightclub near where I dropped you called The Hive. It's notorious in black market circles. If this Dutchman is running, his first stop will be there. I'll have a chat with the owner. <laughs> okay. Well, I want to explore the other apartments if I can. Excuse me? Pistol ammo. I was gonna say, people are just really minimalist here. <laughs> okay, and that's, and there's nothing much there. I don't know if these guys can hear me. I can take the elevator out if I so choose. Who's holding up the damn elevator? No idea, sir. Well, you better run. Save now. Jensen, figured you might want a heads up before you stroll into the hive. The owner's name is Tong Si Hung, Tong being his last name. Rumor is, he's tied to the triads. China's organized crime lords. How wonderful. Anyone else want a piece of this pie? Okay, sorry. Right now I am just exploring. Okay. <laughs> He's green though. If it's green, is it fine? I mean, yeah, if I'm down here, these guys are. Okay, one, what? Save, and then if you start shooting, I'll just go back to my original save point. I heard something. Hold it! Yeah, that is weird. Okay, he shows up as green, but. <laughs> Interesting. Why does it show up as green then if they're technically enemies? See, that's how I was. <laughs> I, I instantly did, just did not trust the game. Okay. So let's say, I might as well go back the way I came, but I can't remember the way I came. So I know I can't remember the point in the where from the elevator I came into. The main issue here is that there is this guy. But then there's another guy across, right? This 
is hidden enough, right? <sighs> Nothing? We got combat rifle, don't care about that. Hmm. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to traverse a different route route. Where is the other guy? Me again? Okay, it's only... Is there another guy here? It's just the one guy? Sorry, I'm like, there's the other dot, which I don't know... Really? Fine. Can I not go across? Oh, I can. It's just being a bit weird about it. I have a lot of stun gun ammo. I might as well just use it. This took me nowhere. <laughs> no. Okay. No, wait. This would have to be a way. Here go. Okay. Ooh. Oh, those were the two guys on the roof before. For a minute there, I thought that was a mine. <laughs> Where does this take me? Uh, holster, there we go. Just want to take a different route. And the way it came. Oh. Oh. Well, the only way I'm jumping down is if I have the uh, Icarus thing, isn't it? The landing system, which I don't. So, we are just going to go the way I originally came. Ooh. Be more exploring around. I think bringing in Bell Tower to police the city is a great thing for Shanghai. We're sure some of those corrupt officials in the Chinese bureaucracy are having sleepless nights these days. You think Bell Tower isn't corrupt? I've seen them look the other way lots of times when the triads are shaking down a client. And don't get me started about the work they do for TYM. I know you're right, but 
I don't know. I just feel a little safer with them around. Well, I don't like the idea of a foreign police force overseeing us. The way they speak English to us on purpose. I imagine that's how it felt when the Japanese were here during the Second World War. Some old historical scars. Okay. Oh, Drake Wolf. <laughs> no, I have not been to the Praxis. What are you doing down here? You slumming? Lower city is dangerous for you tourists. Hmm, okay. Are you going to mind if I open this door? Thank you. Okay. Do to do. <laughs> okay. Mm. It's a dead end here. Oh, hello. No one's going to mind, are they? Place for you. Get out my way. Okay. Okay. Who spoke? Wait. Who spoke? You spoke. Yeah, I don't know if this is being watched or not, so. Limb clinic, you say? Where is the limb clinic? It's on the metro station. No, it's on it should be on the lower floor, right? Maybe it is on this floor and I just didn't... Oh wait! Grung District. Right? Grung District? Right District? We'll see. Okay, we've made our way to Alice Pods. <laughs> hey, what are you looking for? Though? You know, there's an amazing view of the cityscape on the rooftop that's just underneath the penguin. Okay. Nice Maybe I'll take you there. You know, I'm afraid of heights, and I'm pretty sure how to do that. Come on, your eyes are so big. Shh, 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 shh. Shh, shh, shh. It's a sense of free corporate expression in China. If you want to keep it that way, you have to build up. When I've went off. It's taken 12 years to build the pangu so far, and it can take another 10 more to finish. Angie Bar. High young medical problem. Okay, let's, uh, where is this limb clinic? Is it not on this side? Man, I keep screwing up. <laughs> is it not on this side? I'm so confused. I saw it. I saw it somewhere. Oh, it is. It's on, okay, it's on the lower floor, but this district looks like so where am I right now head for the stairs which is over here or just take this here maybe bell tower Okay, map again. I think maybe I need to head for the stairs all the way at the end? Oh, wait. That looks to be it. Excuse me, had to sneeze. Ah. Anything here? No? Okay. So lost. 
No, I'm going back. Going back. Oh. Oh, wait. Man. <laughs> How do I get to this limb clinic? Okay. No, that's nothing. You know, apparently there's a backdoor way to the hive, but I don't really care about that. I'm just trying to get into a limb clinic. Oh my god! It's... Do you... Do I... Mm. <laughs> am I... Am I climbing over this? They made it particularly high. Okay, maybe through the sewer system here? No, damn it. Turn it back up. Storage unit. Oh, Mr. Liu, this is the third time I have ad asked you to move your belongings from your old apartment. If you not work with us on this, I will be forced to throw your stuff out. I know of an inexpensive storage unit right across from Alice Gardens. The code is da da da. This would be your best option. Let's, uh. Okay. Oh, there's gas that way. Where you, where even am I right now? Is next to the sewer entrance? Sorry, is this to get to the limb clinic? Okay, that's the hive. Oh, is this the... I think this is a different way. I think this is to... Is this towards the hive? I'd imagine so. I'm not trying to get to the hive though, I'm just trying to get to the stupid limb clinic. been down here before. At least that part. Okay, if I get out of the sewer... Access that. It's weird because it's through here that the thing right in order for me to get to the stairs here, but Okay. <laughs> it literally points Limit Clinic this way, but I can't go from that way. Hello.
Oh, this is... What? Okay. Do I maybe use the the dumpster? I don't know. Oh, it says limb on it. <laughs> don't mind me just carrying this dumpster. <laughs> a bit high though still. Yeah. Oh. oh wow! You have great jumping sh abilities. Alright! Hey American, go Yankees! You want good time? Go to the high. You want better time? Find a home farm. Beautiful as well as things are. Hmm. Okay. Yay. Doing this is to modify ocean temperatures through a combination of ions. God, it took me so long just to figure out how to get there. Get here. Get here. I'm here now. <laughs> Okay, I don't know how much money I have. It's stolen from a lot of the various people in the city here. Indestructible. Anyway. Lim International welcomes you. You are preferred client? Select what you want from computer. Praxis. Praxis kit. I have... I can buy one. For now. I'll have to come back for the other one. You're very welcome, sir. Hmm. I don't imagine I can just walk in there, so... Okay, so I need just like, you know, a few 4,000 more credits. A bit less than that for another Praxis kit. Okay. But... Unfortunately, I can go in there. I never know, because that's that one time where the guy was green and then he saw me and he started freaking out, so... Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, the, the ground is what's making that noise. Nothing here. Oh, not here. What? I thought this one was I was able to access. I guess not. Okay, so we can actually access these areas. Or, there's not, sorry, there's nothing to see here in this, this area. Alright, what time is it right now? Okay, so with that, I actually have to end the set here. It's going to be a shorter set. Ugh, excuse me. Yeah, <laughs> I do have to end it here. So, I guess the next set, we'll continue with our adventures in Shanghai. 
We'll get into the hive, probably going through the front door or breaking in. Either way, thank you for liking if you like. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. Thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time, guys. See ya. Project which has consumed all of my attention these days. You're referring to the Panchea Project, the cooperative global initiative that aims at healing our world. Earth Seekersphere is in serious trouble, Eliza, and it's time that we, as a species, stepped up to make things better.